guys, Steven here back with another video and HitFilm just released a new version of their software called HitFilm Express 2017, which I recommended actually the previous version, HitFilm Express 3, because it had everything. It was basically like Premiere Pro, but for free. And I'm gonna recommend HitFilm Express 2017 as well because I actually used the beta version a week early and now I can finally talk about it. Shout out to HitFilm for allowing me to access the program early and get to use it. I really like it. I recommend it to anybody looking for a free editor. It's definitely on the top alternatives for like Premiere Pro, for Vegas, if you don't have the money for it and stuff. But here you see some of the things that it includes 2D and 3D. And if that wasn't enough, they have like bundles and like add-ons, like color correction packs if you want that for very cheap for like $10. And it's really cool. They have tutorials on their YouTube channel. They have this new thing where kind of like a master class and they teach you how to use effects to create like certain things. So right here they created like a Star Wars look using some of the effects that are included in the software. So let me just actually get into the software. I really like this because it's really easy to use. So you type in the project settings, you go to edit, you edit the video and you export it. Like in Vegas Pro, you might not know how to export it because you're a beginner or you just don't know Vegas Pro. Same thing with Premiere Pro, like it doesn't say export anywhere except for if you go to file export. Here, if you know nothing about the software, you always know that the export's here, the editing's here, and the project settings is here. And I also like the homepage because any new news there is on the software, like updates in the software, or new plugins and stuff, or new YouTube videos and tutorials that they have, it's always there. So what I'm gonna do is just edit a video really shortly and just show you the interface because it's, you know, pretty easy to use and it doesn't really take a lot of explaining. So template, you choose the resolution of your video and the frame rate, mine's usually 1080 at 30 FPS, I'll press apply. And then it's now in my editing panel. And you can see here, there's the effects panel. If you go back here, there's media where you can import media. So I'll just drag this in to import. You just wanna select import and just select a file. It's really easy. So let's just drag this in. So the bottom layer is the audio. You can edit, you can just lower it, increase it. You can do the opacity too for, for the video portion of things. You can see right there, it gets darker because the opacity lowers. I'll just put it up right here. Similar to Premiere Pro, it looks like Premiere Pro, just like the first glance you can see is Premiere Pro. Right here you can see there's the toolbox where you can see some of the stuff. Similar to Premiere Pro, the C is for cut, so if you press C and you just click, it cuts the video. Really cool. It has other tools right here you can see. If you go on effects, there's a bunch of effects right here. You can see color grading, gradients, keying for like green screen, stuff like that. There's also option for 3D stuff. So you can like see for view, it says 2D. You can also set it to 3D. There's quick 3D right here. You can see there's smoke, rain, missile, stuff like that. It's really cool and it's really advanced. And some scenarios, it's actually better than Premiere Pro when it costs zero dollars. And these are the features without the add-ons. So here you can set the color mode. You can set the preview quality to make it less laggy. So if you have a more powerful computer, you can set it as full quality, but if yours is a little bit slower, you can change that so it isn't so laggy. Option, you can change the color of the background if you want to. Audio meters right here to check out the audio and to see if it's too loud, too quiet. There's also option to add text over. There's also history to undo stuff if Control Z doesn't go that far back. And let me just list some of the new features that are included in the new version in case you guys have used the previous version and just want to know what's new. So just listing some just off of my head, so some of the effects that I can just think of off of my head after using this all. For one, there's a lot of new effects like heat distortion and sci-fi themed light words. There's more flexibility and options for audio editing. There's also new export options for making it faster and more efficient. It now supports 4K projects. And I believe they added a lot more features for 360 video if you're into that stuff. To do that, it's really easy. So you press I for in and then go to the end of the video, press out which is O, and you can see there's this highlighted portion. And basically this is the portion that they're gonna render. And here there's two icons. So the first one's render in and out area. So the ones that are highlighted, or you can just export the entire thing. I'm gonna export only the in and out. So here it says it's in the export queue. So it's ready to export. So I'm gonna go there. So all you wanna do is select a preset that matches the project settings and just drag it onto there. Now right click and save output as, you know, just name it. I'm going to go to desktop and just save it. And now just press start exporting to start. Now that's the end of it. I just want to show you guys what's new and just making another video for those who are looking for a video editor and not just those who are a fan of HitFilm, just everyday users who are just looking to make YouTube videos. And from my experience, the rendering is faster than Premiere Pro and other softwares that I've used. Like Premiere Pro wouldn't even be at 1% for a five minute video for my computer at least. 
So it just shows you how fast the rendering is compared to other video editors. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you check out this new awesome software. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.